Hey everybody, it's Chris and I am here, oh, sorry, adjusting the microphone. Um, I am here doing an, uh, a react to April's new vlog, which she uh, just put out a couple of hours ago. It's titled, How Much Weight Lost One Month After Weight Loss Surgery? One Month Post Duodenal Switch Update. So this is exciting. I'm very happy to see her progress and how she's doing. Um, I, I, she, I know some people were so dubious about her weight loss and stuff. I think she's being honest about it. I hope she is. But if we start seeing anything that indicates maybe she's not being super honest, then yeah, there's going to be, you know, people are going to start to speculate, myself included, because I... I mean, it's like I understand why people are suspicious of her. This last time around, she was very deceptive and lied quite a bit and manipulated. Uh, I, I just, like I said, I hope she's a lot more transparent in this one. She's not stepping on the scale for us. She's doing a little better. She's showing us the scale right after she steps off of it. To me, that that's a big step up in the right direction. It's a clear scale. You can see that it's not like on um, a tower or anything. So I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt right now. And we will know too based on how she looks, uh, how much weight she's losing and stuff like that. And people are still questioning the mental health aspect of it. Is she getting the therapy she needs and stuff? Is she being honest about that to herself, you know, um, to her doctors? We, we shall see. So anyways, let's see what April has to say pounds one month ago to the day I had a weight loss surgery. I had a biliopancreatic diversion with duodenal switch or which is a very, very aggressive weight loss surgery. It really hinders and inhibits the absorption of everything, including the calories and stuff. Um, it, it's for people who really need to get weight off, people who are diabetic or on the verge of becoming diabetic and need to get the weight off, um, people who have trouble staying compliant and need to get the weight off. You see the pattern? Uh, so it, it really, it rerouted her whole like digestive process. So, um, if she sticks to the plan and, and does the physical and mental work she needs, she should see huge results with this surgery. Our duodenal switch and I am one month post-op and it has been a lot faster of a month than I thought it was going to be. I, yeah. I don't know why, but I just thought that this part was going to take so long. I almost feel like it's going too fast for me. I'm like, I thought, I thought I was going to be like in this little bubble for longer. Like, not like my, I'm not going to work because I really would like to not be in my house. I wonder if, um, Kiwi Farms somehow sussed out what she's doing or where she's working. Those, those people, man, they should put them on like, missing persons cases and stuff like that because they can track down anything um you know if they're motivated enough and they are but i'm curious to see what she's doing for work i think it's good she's working because it gets her out of the house it keeps her busy gets her um a hat so that she has a social group of some kind especially when kenny goes away so i think it's good that she's working i'm just curious to see i want to know i need to know all the things what she's doing i'm i'm a neb as much but like bubble as in like oh I, I can only drink liquids or like oh I can only eat foods that are fork tender like I kind of thought that all of this would take longer and I'm like right around the corner from whatever's next and I'm but honestly the truth is though it even though she is stepping up and can eat more solid foods and stuff she can still stick to some of those softer foods stick to some protein shakes and liquid diet and stuff if she doesn't feel ready to move on she she can definitely still incorporate that stuff and have that as part of her weight loss and dietary regimen she you know she's i don't know i don't think she has to go and just stop that stuff and eat all the solid food um but just talk to her doctor to make sure she's able to get adequate nutrition and stuff i'm sure they wouldn't mind her still incorporating that stuff 
it's like a safe space for her right now, essentially, right? And it makes sense. I'm not quite sure what that is. I don't think it's going to fool food yet. I'm not sure what all the next phase entails, and I won't know until I meet with my dietitian, but I feel like when I went from liquids to soft food, that it was it felt abrupt and I felt not quite ready to make that transition. Um, and then I feel really good. So I'm very happy that I feel so good, but I still have limitations and I'm not supposed to be like lifting anything over 15 pounds. And I find myself like frustrated because I'm like, I just want to carry the laundry baskets. And I don't know if the laundry baskets actually weigh 15 pounds, but they're big and they're not light. And so I'm like, well, they could. So I don't know. But I'm like, I just want to be able to do like the dog food. I want to be able to go buy dog food and just well, here's the thing, though, and this is where April could get in her own way. She she seems to, like, she doesn't, how do I say it? She she doesn't like being told what to do so much as in, like, a, you have to do it this way and do this and, like, it. she likes to do things her way and call shots and have the ability to tweak things to her, you know, very much like a lot of the other girls, like, like Amber and Foodie. And um, so she she could get in her own way with that. Like, I know you don't want to have the limitations, but you are still healing internally from a major surgery. So you have to respect those and follow them. As far as not being ready to move up on the diet and stuff, um, talk to your doctor, talk to your dietitian, talk to your therapist, therapist about that stuff because they can tell you, you know, oh yeah, you can stay on it a little longer. You know, they they can work with you because I'm sure everybody physically and mentally moves at a different pace. I'm sure they have like a set standard protocol they they follow, but th there's no reason they can't like tweak it and adjust it for each individual patient. So I just hope she's um being honest and um, bringing this stuff up with her doctor and everything like that uh, so that they can kind of see where she's at and, you know, so that they can just work together. Um, yeah. And, and, oh, guys, I'm trying this. Uh, I have this LaCroix water. I ordered it online. I know it's a little expensive, so I won't buy it often. But I did get a case of this. Uh, this um, It was a couple months ago I bought it. And I just cracked open to it now. It's this... Um, flavor I haven't been able to find in the store it's uh cherry blossom and I like it it's so different I like LaCroix waters in the sense that you can get the flavor of limoncello uh thank thank you Mike Vasquez for suggesting that one um watermelon stuff like that you can get the flavor without the sweetness and this cherry blossom like I don't know what a cherry blossom is supposed to taste like but this is very different and unique and yeah I'm I'm enjoying one of those. It is super hot out today, guys. It is too hot to go outside right now. It's almost 90 degrees, not a cloud in the sky, burning heat, super bad humidity. Like when you walk out the door, it's like walking into a wall of like soup. Um, so we're not going to go walk until this evening. I got to start getting up and going out really early in the morning with Frodo and then going out in the evening too. But we didn't get up this morning. So we're going, going to go out in the evening um, so right now I'm just sitting in here enjoying my Cherry Blossom LaCroix and making some videos because there's an update on a game that I play with my kiddo tomorrow, uh, that, uh, we're, that we've been waiting a year for. So I think I'm just going to spend the day playing with him. So I don't think I'll make videos today. I was going to take yesterday today off making videos, but I decided to make them today and, and skip out tomorrow, but there will still be a bunch of videos coming down the line this week. So don't you worry. But yeah, I always do a brief little what's in my cup kind of moment. And um, it's actually just a, it's a can of this. And if you want to try something unique or different, you don't mind floral notes, try this Cherry Blossom LaCroix. I will put it in the description, my Amazon affiliate link where I bought this. It is different. Not for everybody. Not for everybody, but I like it. Anyways just carry it into like little things, little things that normally I would just be able to do, but now I shouldn't do because of the surgery and yet I'm feeling back to normal, so. But you still have to remember, that's good she feels back to normal. She's not having a lot of pain and stuff like that. But like I said, they rerouted 
your digestive system. So um, you are still healing internally. And while it might not feel bad, you need to not push that so that you don't end up with some sort of a straining injury. And it can be frustrating when you want to do stuff, but she's get, she's getting there. She'll be back to normal soon. It's like, it's an interesting feeling because it's like, well, why don't I just do it? And it's like, well, because you're not supposed to until six weeks and you don't know what's going on on your inside. Like, you don't need to mess anything up. Not that I would like into the world mess things up, but there, I know there's a, a reason that they have the lifting restrictions and there's a reason that they're like core exercises. Not that I was trying to do core exercises, but I had asked when he said that um, I could start doing like the dedicated cardio sessions and things like if I could do my row machine because I just didn't and no and when I said that he's like that's way too much core like no rowing <laughs> no thank you and don't do that and so I'm like okay I won't do that just do some more walking April I know you don't like that and for some reason you feel like it's beneath you but just walk it'll be okay and trust me these last these next couple weeks they'll be gone in no time so this last month I of course I had the surgery then I had two doctor's appointments because one I noticed the what looked to me strange like things around the incision points and then the nurse said that oh yes that is not normal so come in and then after that um one of them to me looked like it was really not good and what I was seeing and what I thought I was seeing was two different things so it ended up not being that bad but I did end up going to the doctor so three visits to the doctor and I have met with my dietitian and so lots of appointments I have had and a few other appointments and I think that's good though I think April needs that because she really she needs somebody to be accountable to other than herself or us that she can't lie to and bullshit so I think that the doctors and the dietitian is very good where she's going to like have to get on a scale and they're going to like actually be able to measure progress and know the truth and hopefully though that will give her seeing having actual progress and having that accountability hopefully that will help her get into and maintain better habits and stuff and show herself that she can do it and so she doesn't get back into that bad cycle that she was in before biggest focus this month has been just learning to do the things that i need to do to be healthy right now without hurting myself like drinking too fast or drinking too much or not listening to my fullness cues. So there are so many little things that I, my body has probably always tried to do and I just didn't recognize them as fullness cues. Just learning to understand what my fullness cues are and when to stop. And it's been a month of learning lots of new things and I just- That's very hard to do, especially with today's food environment. People eat so many ultra processed foods and we have huge portions in America we're told that, you know, we tell kids to finish what's on their plate, whether they're hungry or not. You're told you need to eat three meals a day and snacks, you know, which that is not true. If you're not hungry, don't eat those. Um, and we just generally eat more and the bad food, the processed food and stuff is, it's not cooked. It's not made. It's designed. It's chemically manufactured to get you to crave it enough on a bio, like a mental level and a physical level that you overeat past your fullness cues because you just enjoy the taste so much. It's like a pleasurable thing. So it is really hard to stop when you're, when you're actually satisfied as opposed to stuffed or done or whatever that that's a learning thing that a lot of people I think need to learn. So I hope that she, does learn that that'll help her a lot in the long run i know i routinely eat past my fullness cues and some foods will be more satiating than others um and it's hard to stop because i know sometimes where i'm like i know i'm full i can stop but then it's like you know oh this tastes good i like it i'm just gonna finish it or oh i only have a few bites left i'm gonna finish it if you just stop doing that that that'll be that that's like one of the hardest things to learn is your hunger cues and your fullness cues especially your fullness cues your hunger cues that's a little easier once you're off of all the processed food um you could be thirsty 
So make sure you're hydrated with water and stuff like that. And if you're still hungry, you may in fact be hungry. But the fullness cues are very difficult, especially for people, like I said, who who are in a bad food environment and eat a lot of processed food and restaurant takeout food. Resting and healing. And, and I'm I glad. I'm not saying, I don't think April's doing that. I'm just making a general statement. That's that's very difficult. To, to be at the end of the month. So I imagine this next month will be similar to where it's, um, I'm just going to be learning so much throughout the first, at least the first half of it. And then I'll be in routine, but I'll be learning the routine, like trying to figure out what my new work routines and stuff are once I hit that six weeks mark. I really like to set goals and to do different things like that. I have no real expectation of what could come. I have no knowledge of what I can do. I just have to do, I just have to do things and figure it out. And so it's not like I'm trying, to, I am trying to hit my protein. So like eventually I'll get to the point where I'll be setting other fitness goals or maybe I'll be running and all of those things. And I know running is going to be a lot faster with less of me because my running was slower than my walking speed and my walking speed was not fast. So And it was very dangerous and dumb of you to do that. I think it's good for her to have a goal or like Anna O'Brien to have a goal of wanting to do marathons or run and jog and stuff like that. But you have to kind of do what's physically safe for you. And I'm sorry, there's no shame in walking. One of the only exercises I can do right now because of my knees is walking. Um, it's just take pride and be proud in the fact that you're getting up off the couch and walking and doing more than everybody else who's not, you know what I mean? So I think she holds herself to a certain standard and to have to be forced to do something that she considers beneath that, I think that's very hard for April ego wise because like I said in my other videos she used to be very physically active jogging teaching yoga she freaking rock climbed like literally climbed big ass rocks out out in Provo Utah so to be demoted to just walking and stuff I'm sure it's a blow to the ego but she can get back there you know get the weight off do it right don't take any unnecessary risks do the thing Focus on the food, which is 95% of it, and get that weight off, and then and she will be able to go do these other things and then share it with us, and that'll be exciting. So, so anyway, I am excited for all of the different and new things to come, and let's just talk about my weight. On surgery day, I weighed 314.7 pounds, and this morning, I weighed 284 pounds. So that is a loss of 30.7 pounds, and this morning, I weighed 200. Do you see what I mean? Like she is not sh stepping on the scale for us, but she's showing the scale, which is a clear scale. It's on the floor. And I know with mine, after you step off of it for a few seconds, it like keeps the weight up. And I'm assuming she has her phone ready. She t takes her weight and then snaps the picture. I'm going to take this as honest. I'm going to take it that the scale isn't teared until... Until someone proves me otherwise or I'm questioning things or they dig something up on the farms. Because I, I believe what they say because everything they've said in her thread at least has been correct. But um, so this is a better step. This is a step in the right direction at least for physically seeing the scale. I think maybe she can work up to actually just hopping on it for us. Um, and that'll be even better. But this is more than we were getting last time by a long shot. 84 pounds so that is a loss of 30.7 pounds Ooh, for it. And you know what if that's true then good for her i know a lot of it is like she was initially swollen well she had the you know no her weight on surgery day um that's not, that's really good 30 pounds i mean she has to be she has to be stoked by that that's really good and i i hope that keeps up it will slow down a little bit but um no, oh, good job, April. I'm really, I'm really happy for her for this 30 pounds. If that, that's the case, that's great. The first month, that's pretty wild. On to the side-by-sides. Side-by-side photos and videos are my favorite way to measure progress. Okay, but see, April, you can tell she has a, she has a background in marketing. And this is one of the things April did that really got people speculating and that was very problematic. Is April, like... With before and afters, sometimes the lighting can be a little off. You try to keep it at the right lighting. You should wear the same outfit, stand the same way, and be 
in the same position. Um, or else it can be deceptive. I still think this picture, these pictures are somewhat deceptive because you see in the first video, in the first picture, her, and this all adds up, her hair is pushed back over her shoulders so you can see more flesh. In the current picture, her hair is pulled forward, curled, um, so it, it's hiding a lot of the weight in her upper body. Uh, the biggest things are she is standing back slightly from the camera further in the current picture than she was in the original picture. Uh, and the biggest thing is her, um, her pants, like her, in the after, in the current photo, her sports bra is pulled down a little and her pants are pulled up a little, uh, which is hiding again, more stomach, more flesh, which has a slimming appearance. Also in the before picture, she's slightly, ever so slightly facing more head on, on the camera and it's hard to see, but she, her body, her body is slightly more angled, turned to the side in the, in the current picture, which will slim you out, slim you out. I, I do think she's definitely lost weight, but I think she needs to make sure these pictures are actually legitimate or people are going to start speculating again. Um, the lighting is a little different. Sometimes that's not, that's not like controllable, but you know what I mean? Like she should have her hair the same way. If she's squared up facing the, the camera in the before picture, she should square up the same way, um, in the progress pictures. If her pants were pulled down to a certain point in the starting, she should wear them like that all the time. So it, it's just stuff like that. I love being well, able you can to tell she's definitely lost weight. See the differences I feel standing is so much more comfortable now than it was even a month ago in ways I didn't even realize it would or could be. Like this is better. This this is a lot better. <sighs> Except that you see she has um she has her pants pulled up a lot higher in the progress picture. Do you see how slimming that is? Because Well, one, these pants are like the kind of pants that suck in, you know, it's like that shapewear, but it hides a lot of the flesh. So in the starting pictures, you can see a lot more abdomen, which makes her look bigger. But this is, this is better. And she shouldn't wear black. She should wear another color that, because black hides things, you know what I mean? Like she should wear a lighter color or something that shows... I know you don't want to, it's not flattering, but you should wear a lighter color that shows your actual curves and things like that so we can see the as things shrink down. I gained weight so fast that everything became miserable all at once and my body really felt the way I felt emotionally and mentally and I didn't just... And yeah, you can see she's back, like I said, the, the current picture is back further from the camera. Um, it's over a little bit. Like you can see the angle, it's not the exact same. Um, it, it doesn't, ha it can't always be exactly the same. It can be a little closer, but, um, and in the, uh, progress picture, she's also standing with her back more arched and her shoulders back more, which it, it does make a difference, but no, she, she has definitely lost weight. So I hope she like, takes these kind of criticisms and uses them to make proper progress pictures. But the, like this one and the last one were a lot better than the first one. Just slip into it. it. It happened pretty quick. So it's really amazing. And you can see, you can see clearly 
how much more standing upright she is instead of being hunched over. So just, just like try to keep that in mind. Try to keep it as, as consistent as possible. Thing to be able to. This one is a lot better. This one is definitely a lot better. Um, the hair is the same. The stance is pretty much the same. The outfit is the same. Now you can see it doesn't look, that doesn't look as drastic from the back. Um, but she's that she's definitely lost weight. I, I think she's being honest with the weight she's lost. Um, and this is like a, a much better picture. Have it go the other way quickly. Um, and looking at the surgery day photos, I'm just even more grateful that I saw. And yeah, like I said, she just needs to make sure her pants are in the same place. But no, she's definitely lost weight. That's good. Got help when I did. I am so grateful to have this tool. And then to she can help. save up money and get weight loss surgery or um weight loss surgery. Get um get the um skin removal surgery, which which would be great. And then just don't gain the weight back, girl. Get me back to where I was before moving and when I first got here. And then I'm also grateful that I know I'll keep going. And I'm like sorry. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to pause. I'm sorry. Like I took so much time with the progress photos, but I know like, cause I have to take progress photos and stuff. And I know from looking at them, it's just, it's re it really is important to get those right. And it, people don't really think about their, how important consistency is. Cause there are so many little tricks you can do to make it look like there's a change. So I was just trying to, I'm sure you guys know, but people who watch my stuff, but I mean, I just, I really wanted to try to like explain that so that you have an idea of, of the, the proper structure of a progress picture. And where I got down to, I will blow past the high 240s and I will go all the way down and I know it. And then I really believe that taking that time to learn to eat properly and knowing that I can lose in a slow and sustainable way really helps even though I'm losing weight quickly because of the surgery now, I know I have built skills and knowledge and resources and understanding to help me. Okay, but you said that last time, April. Don't get back into this slow and sustain because your way wasn't slow and sustainable. Learn to build healthy habits while you're doing this and then stick with them. Like, it doesn't matter. Like there's more and more studies show. It doesn't matter how fast you lose the weight. As much as are you just doing it via crash dieting or are you doing it? Are you making proper lifestyle changes and learning to, to live differently while you're losing it? That is more important. That being said, I don't think she should starve herself and lose too, too quick, too fast. But, um, she, uh, she just, yeah, needs to be honest with herself with the food and stuff and um, build good habits. And then this, um, I think she'll succeed. She maintained her weight for a long time before she was really dependent on activity. So I hope she gets out of that mindset a little bit, but we'll see. Maintain it after. And a lot of the weight I gained landed in my midsection, chest, and like my neck and face, and my upper body. So I'm very happy to see that go down to see my midsection and my chest shrink. And you can't see it with pants on, but my inner thighs have a little sag to them now, which it is strange, but I feel like as time goes on, that will tighten up a little. Um, and maybe not because <laughs> they have a lot more to shrink. They have a lot more to shrink still, but I love being able to see the changes. And I also appreciate that when my body is changing now, um, it's going to take some time to see change. And then it's going to take even longer for things like my skin to react. And, and that is frustrating whenever you like, are, are supposedly losing weight and you're not seeing the, the change in yourself, it, it's frustrating. And most of the time we can't see it and other people can. And, and when you don't feel like it's enough, it's frustrating. And as far as her skin, she will have a little bit of bounce back from her skin. I mean, a little, she will, she will have loose skin when you have to lose this much weight and she will, um, require, weight uh like skin removal surgery um for aesthetic looks but possibly like in her thigh and thighs and like there are medical reasons to remove skin not just 
aesthetic purposes because it can rub against itself and cause chafing and get stuck in clothes and hinder movement and cause a risk of rashes and infections. So there is, especially when you have a lot to loot to, to remove, there is, she might be able to get some of it covered um, by insurance, but I don't know. We'll see. We need to get there first. Um, right now, I don't think she needs to worry about her skin too much or anything. Just worry about getting that weight off. To Baby kind steps, of one step at a time, girl. get back to normal, and it may take surgery or other things to to help with that as well. So okay. I'm open to all of my options, but it is strange, and and it's awesome to notice things like how much further my arms go down by my sides this month when compared to last month, and how differently my bra fits last month to this month, yeah. and how different my feet look, how different my stance looks. I'm I'm really grateful, and so if you are on a weight loss journey and you don't take progress photos and video, I highly recommend. You should. You really should. Because sometimes you can't see what the scale is like not showing what's really happening. Starting and it will help motivate you. I um, I always feel so much more motivated after looking at side by side. I am so happy to be almost 31 pounds down and excited to see what this next month brings. I'm not so concerned about what this next month brings weight loss wise. I'm definitely more interested to see what my life starts to look like as far as how I'm able to adapt and accommodate with diet and other things that I want to start doing. And I know I'm going to have to slowly fold those things into my life and I'm going to have to, you know, set some priorities and work and time with my husband. Those things will come first, of course. And so it's going to be an interesting juggle of energy and because um, I don't have infinite amounts of energy coming in so it makes it harder to decide what energy is going to be going out i don't know i don't really know what to expect i think i already touched on this a little bit for this coming month so i'm not setting a bunch of goals for myself i am focused on returning to work spending time with my husband um following the guidelines that have been laid out for me and doing the things that i know will help me be hydrated have enough protein take my vitamins and supplements and help me live healthy. That, that sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Just stick to the plan. Don't like, especially with surgery, I wouldn't set like an actual weight loss goal. I would just do the things and be really active with your walking and uh, be kind of like stringent with the, the diet and your uh, supplements and vitamins. And I would just see how it goes from, from week to week both mentally and physically. So those are the things that I am focused on this month. And eventually there will be more goal setting and things, I'm sure. But for now, this is this is just where I'm at. I am slowly folding in all of the things and it's it's gonna be a process of a long time. It's probably gonna be a little boring to watch at times, but I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for y'all's love and encouragement. I am blown away by the amount of people who have sent prayers and love my way and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and if you have questions drop your questions below and I look forward to sharing this next month with y'all and I have no expectation of weight loss for the next month I will lose whatever comes off and I am happy to focus on the small things like their routines and the small things that will keep me healthy and happy and both mentally and physically. So I hope that you have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Yeah. So, um, no, I think she's doing good. Um, I don't want, like I said, I don't want her to keep stressing herself out about every little thing and what's happening next. I think she just needs to stick to the plan. Uh, be honest with her doctor and dietitian um, when there's any concerns or questions or um, worries and, um, you know, stick to it. And I hope she's getting the therapy she needs to. And I think if she does all that, she, she will be really, really successful, but only time will tell. I am wishing the best for her. I am excited to see how, how it goes. She's doing great right now. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and I will see you guys in the next video.